Hi guys, this is Kudosol from Kudosol.com. Today we have a boot named Fred. Fred is a boot from Granson. Uh, this is a boot version of Granson Archie and they're broke boots with the same brogues pattern and the last as Granson Archie. But this offers completely different style and vibe. Fred V boots are with Vibram soles. Vibram soles make the boots more flexible and light to wear. Uh, you, you guys probably know this boots from Nick Wooster, who is a very popular and famous model plus a fashion designer. He wore it before with suits. There's a very popular photo of him wearing these with suits. I do remember that Grenson is owned by someone called Tim Little. Tim Little is a British guy who is a shoe designer. And Tim bought the Grenson company back in 2011. And I think the boots or shoes from Granson before Tim bought Granson is less appealing or less good looking. Like they didn't, they, they look uglier than these for sure. I think that Tim did a great job since he bought the company in 2011. And now Granson is a world known shoe company, shoemaker, and still they're producing new stuff and they're trying new stuff they're always coming up with new designs new soles which was triple weld soles back in 2014 i think uh, which is a great thing for the community so the sizing for this is uk 11. Um, i if you guys remember my blog i said that i wear uk 10 with my archie but these are uk 11 there's a reason for it i wear boots with thicker socks in the winter usually and these have insoles in it to support my feet. I do have a slightly flat feet and I wanted these with flat feet insoles. The last used is 210, sorry, 201, not 210. And the fitting is G. It's G, but I do not think it's too wide, but they say it's G fitting. For anyone who's interested in buying these, I would recommend you to go smaller than your sneaker size or same as your other boot size. I, I can probably fit 10.5 with no problem at all, but I bought, bought them in 11 because I wanted to have insoles in them. So go with 10.5, which is half size smaller than my sneaker size. The leather used in Grandson Fred V, this model, is tan colored calf leather. Granson makes Fred in various types of leather and colors, so please check them out on their website or any other stores that carries them. Uh, but this one is tan calf leather, and this is very, very smooth and soft. I didn't have any break-in period for with these leather, this leather, and was comfortable as right off the box. Uh, but the leather is very, very thin. But the most disappointing thing is that at the toe box, it, like. It's very hard, but it's not too hard to protect your feet. Uh, one example can be, I don't know if you can see here. I don't know if you can see here. This is this was the area that was dented before. I was carrying a table with these on and I bumped my toe onto the table and the toe just went in. It just dented in and collapsed. Um, I pushed it out from the inside. Uh, it's hard now, but that's a bit disappointing considering that these cost around $450 or 300 pounds, but now it's fine. I guess it's hard, so it doesn't really matter at all. The soles, the soles are made of very light material. Uh, I do believe they're Vibram, that's why they're called V. Uh, these are rubberized wedge soles and very, very light. This is very light. Uh, it says extra light here if you can see yeah this is very light it feels like i'm wearing sneakers with these i bet i can run miles with them without getting like my, my feet getting tired which is a good thing the boots are good use stone welted to the upper the stitching is very clean and the connection here is amazing as well The broke pattern for the grass and Fred is, well, oversized holes. Like they have a lot of oversized holes here and here and here, everywhere around, creating a beautiful pattern that's, well, amazing and people will 
look at it and be like, oh, that's from Granson. People will know because these are have bigger holes than other broke shoes. For example, I have um, Tricker Stowe or Chini Tweed broke boots. I love broke boots, by the way, if you check out my broke videos. Um, but yeah, these have different pattern. This is bigger sized. So uh, if you have chance, please check them out. So do I think they're worth $450 uh, dollars or 300 pounds? No, sorry, I don't think they're worth 300 pounds. I didn't buy them for 300 pounds. I bought them for around, uh, I think it was 150 pounds, but I would say I would pay up to 200 pounds or $300 because I know that these are made in India. I am not saying that Indian craftsmanship is bad, but I can see that the quality is lesser than my made in England shoes. British made shoes, for example, trickers, I can see that they're much more better material, much bigger, much sturdy. And uh, I know that they're much more expensive than Grants and Fred, but there's a reason for it. But I don't think I would buy them for 300 pounds full price. I would buy them if they're on sale, which they are usually on sale in many places. So if you want to buy Fred, search for the, uh, the sale that they have currently today it's i think it's 22nd of january they have sale big sale on their website so go and check them out at granson.com also granson fred has well granson fred and archie which are their biggest selling models have triple welted shoes uh, which are made in england the uk northampton they have triple welted they have models that tr have triple welt welted soles i'd recommend you to try them out or check them out if you want to buy freds but if you want a higher quality, better quality boots. I do not have trip, uh, triple welted Fred yet. I will buy them uh, when I have a chance. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I'll show you a on-fit video. As always I do, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see other boots reviewed or unboxed, please tell me on the comment section. I will do it. Thank you guys for watching.